hello guys and welcome to uh, this video and in this video we'll be solving a phlogathrum a question paper in the previous video i had uh, taught you like how you can download this so just give me a minute i will uh, just show you the the whole question paper okay so in case you want to see like where did i get it from it is my own made paper and now it even has a watermark because i just edited it so um in case you want this paper it will be there i'll just try to keep it um i'll try to keep this in the description when i publish this okay so it may not be there so um let's just have a look so mainly now let me show you this yeah now uh the level it is complete beginners okay so if you, in case you are like you just started off then you can also solve this question paper with me so make a flow chart which can divide two numbers okay so let's just highlight this so in case you have an exam related to bathroom okay so you can just highlight which can divide two numbers so what we want to do is like we just want to do one thing which is a divided by b meaning the first number divided by second number okay so now let's uh, go to the bathroom okay i just uh, went here so now let's declare some variables okay in case you want to know how do i do this i clicked on this arrow okay like a small touch and then to declare okay so this is input output and if else while and do so as you declare okay so they declare uh, my variables a okay and then again i'm going to do the same method i'm going to click here declare b and i am not going to do integer i'll do real so what's a real so real will like it's a decimal number okay so real now after this in case you want to know how to do it i just did a normal kind of touch now uh, what we'll do is that we'll do an input for variable a now let's do another input and this is for variable b okay as it did double click now um it will do let's do uh hmm now it's saying because uh, here the commutative law does not exactly work hmm. wait let's have an output over here so this output will be um please keep first number as a as the variable a i don't know if we can do this but i'll do oh no i cannot do this variable a i think i can do uh, this one okay then after that uh, we can do another thing which is and keep the second number as variable b then i'll close this let's see now now let's uh, have a run if i to nice so it's clearly working uh, now let's see something uh this and this a little bit space here yeah now uh input a b after this what we'll do is that we'll do output is going to be a divided by b this is first number second but yeah, like first number so let's see 10 and 2 now in case uh, you want to know how we do the submission okay so um give me one minute so uh, you can open snip and sketch in case you are on windows like currently i am on windows okay, so i'm going to do new and then i'm going to select my console okay and okay so currently i just have a snip here i thought it was snap then i'm going to keep this as our output 
so give me one minute i'll just put the output now uh, the variables are so the variables will be in this case it is a wait i'll just go from unbold a is equal to 10 b is equal to 2 now the flowchart again i'm gonna go on my snap uh, the snip and sketch um there you go we i'm just gonna do this fail to open the file okay sure um okay i'll do it again in our game so nice i think my just a little bit of the okay so the watermarks just got affected a little bit but that's okay now let's see so the second question is make a flowchart which can calculate the profit and loss let's highlight this um with yellow and here we have a formula which i will do with red now we will make so it's very simple first thing what i'm going to do is that i will save this okay so currently i'll just pause my share okay so you won't be able to see what i'm doing because uh, i may like involve some private of files of mine oh no i won't so here there you go so this is how this is like division division well, this is pretty wrong now um after this let's see uh, let's go here and now let's keep some variables so let's assign oh sorry let's declare our selling let's just sell again here do this to declare again i want this to be a real and let's do this to buy so input is gonna be sell and input is gonna be buy okay then its output will be so the sp uh, cost price meaning like a buy price a selling price minus the buy price okay here it's cost price but we can keep it as buy price like for example if you're on olex or somewhere let's use it as cost price cost price oh sorry i cannot have that uh, spacing yeah nice cost price okay now the output will be sell minus cost price now um, let's take so here the here let me just check let's take the situation now as profit my uh, real for sale will be three 330 okay and my this will be 200 i sold at 200 so currently i just made 130 profit and one second let's just do something as an if command so if the uh, wait one second now let's keep something like a uh, declare so let's um, declare another variable and this can be as real and we will keep this as p slash l i don't think i can uh, do this yeah yeah no i cannot so let's do uh, p and l just like profit and loss now if uh, p and l it's just zero meaning if, if it is like zero zero than this then it, it will do output uh, so zero greater than this this is loss and uh, let's do here output as profit now this is our whole flowchart let me just zoom out and let's see my 30 i sold at 10 oops pandal oh sorry the p and l uh okay 
real it is p and l oh wait uh, i forgot to assign p and l assign p and l uh, it is cell minus by okay i think i should do this a little bit like here Wait one second can you like reposition this okay no uh it's, it's, so that's okay that's okay so now let's see huh by was not declared Oops. cell minus cost price let's see now it should be working yeah so the real for uh the cell will be let's just do 30 and 20 10 profit so uh one second let me just instantly just uh, get the flow chart okay and in case you're having uh, this flugathrum in your uh, question paper okay like in case you have it like anytime then what you can do is like you can just practice this like if you just started off logothrum so just practice this uh worksheet and all that i've made not exactly worksheet but you can as i'm solving it with you you will learn some things like real i want to teach you this boolean and uh, string is like i think you must have seen this in my python videos i use strings a lot like this is a string okay so don't worry you are all covered so now let's take the situation as profit uh okay so first it is profit so uh, i'm gonna solve this by doing 30 and 20 10 profit and let's and now i will keep some variables i think i forgot to put variables so in case like you get this in a question paper okay so let's see let's make a variables what i do with variables okay so the first uh, one which is the sell price the selling price is equal to 30 and the cost price is equal to 20 okay so um these are the variables okay so in case like okay now one second oh wait i did it the wrong way okay so let's just copy they have copied this now let's put the variables over here also variables and so let's just delete this yeah, this way uh, this is our profit right and loss of this Wait, this is um, variables here. I'll just copy. Oops. Um, now, use this. Copy and this now. Variables. Yeah, nice. Now, let's take the situation as loss. So, here it will show my cell is 20, 30. So minus 10, which is loss. Oh, uh, oops, 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 oops. I think I was making the wrong snap. I took the wrong snap. One second, I'll do it again. Nice. Now, um, variables will sell selling price is equal to 20 and cost price is equal to 30 okay then yeah so eventually profit and loss will kind of vary from there now okay nice so now we are on the third question we have about six questions so let's see um let's see so make a uh, flowchart which calculates area of circle okay so let's see let's just highlight this and here we do not have formula 
but uh, I think it's gonna be pretty aware so let me just add a formula okay so whenever you are having like this in the lab or anything okay then please uh, use a formula just put like a formula section here then you add it like in case like you uh, want to add the pi okay so in case in the exam you've been asked like area circle like we are currently discussing right now okay then then uh as pi may not be available that emoji will not be available on your uh, computer screen then then you don't show it okay, so just do pi r in case like it's with square so go on your if in case you are using windows just do windows dot here and square pi r square so the flow chart i'll just gonna be preparing that let's do this as save as our profit profit and loss okay and now um let's create a new thing okay pure brand new so let's declare radius which will be real okay and here we will also be learning called like stored variables so pi is a stored variable so input will be radius now what we will do is keep this also as the area as real okay so now what we will do is that we'll assign area a value which is a area so area is equal to pi a stored variable into radius bracket radius because that's the main formula after that output will be your area of the circle is comma area okay so the okay not red actually check in this box uh, let's see let's see what it does not work so it is area now let's do another output which is um we also need to keep here so, so in a square centimeter done now let's see how this works so my radius is 5.5 huh of course uh, okay so uh, you must define a function before you call it now your program attempted to call pi so what okay you know what let's just keep a yes yeah, good pi radius into this what this usually works um you know what one second um so what we can do yes, this is this so at least i just want to come another way uh hey, one second oh wait one second one second i think i got the i got i think i got the mistake wait i forgot to put that uh you know that multiplication operator yes okay now this should work if i yeah oh 78.5 blah 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 blah, blah. Uh, that's the so on thing now i will check if this is correct so just give me one minute i will just show you area of circle uh, five, three, eight, nine. This thing now. Let's go to straight away to Flugathrum. Okay, so if I, um, okay, so we can't add on anything. But our thing, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, it's like, like exact the same. Now, uh, now let me just go to go back here. Okay, so I'm going to save this as area of the circle. And yes, I have done some practice files also. <laughs> because everything that we do is always a practice. Now, after this, let's go on the word doc. Now, oh yeah, we forgot. Oh yeah, we just did a check. Wait one second. 
सो नाउ आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टेक अ स्नैप ऑफ दिस ए सब आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टेक अ स्नैप ए सब वन सेकंड आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टेक इट आई डोंट हैव टू शो यू हाउ आई टेक द स्नैप नाउ बिकॉज़ आई विल स्टोर अवे एंड दैट इनटू अ डॉक्यूमेंट नाउ इन द नाउ यू विल जस्ट ऐड अ स्मॉल नोट आई एम गोइंग टू ऐड अ स्मॉल नोट ओवर हियर व्हिच इज um do not this pi is a registered variable is a let's just do a, a stored variable so do not add pi to the program now let's see some output now i'm just going to do um this nice now let's see make a flow chart which finds out from a uh, two number from three numbers okay okay then i'll do it with two numbers and then the area of square now let's do with three numbers let's go on new let's declare some variables let's declare x Y. I'm gonna do these two integers now. Y. And let's do this to Z. Z. Why is this not open? Yeah, Z. Okay, so Z. Yeah, sorry about that. Now let's have some input. So input will be for X. Okay, then input will be for now y. The input will be for z. Now let's do something. So if um let's uh one second hmm yeah so if x is greater than y. x is greater than y and x is greater than z okay so we will be using this and function here don't worry it will work because mainly in python if you see you can add this and and also in scratch i think you can do python i think with uh, python you can do and yeah i think so yeah you can uh, so if i made any mistake sorry um now it will do output as x which is the first Number which go add imported. I don't know imported is a word. Which you had input. Which you which you input. Which you had done and input is the greatest greatest number. Now let's copy this. Because I will use this a lot, so let's do copy. Then again, another if statement. Now let's do it for y. Y is greater than x, and y is greater than z. Then it will do an output, and that output is once again. Boom. Let's do the same thing for y, which is second number. Now let's do the next thing for z. Ouch. Um, as if Z is greater than X and Z is greater than Y, then let's do another output. Okay, this is a pretty big. Um, which is Z. Uh, sorry, I'll just do this. Z. The third one second, one second. Just give me one second. now um this is the thing that should be working let's see now this case i am keeping x as the greatest 5 3 2 now uh, let's get this thing because the first one is output taking snap one second and nice so now let's go on the output let's do here let's add something as X as greatest. 
uh, number. So my let's just do variables as let's add a pre note here as variables. Which is x, y, and z. So x is equal to 5, y is equal to 3, z is equal to 2. And that's how this works. <laughs> you know, uh, y as greatest. Uh, as well as greatest as what we do. Yeah, so this is output. And let's add the variables. <clears throat> then after that, let's just again. Um, I think I haven't added the flowchart. You know, I'll just add the flowchart because I just wanted to do a test run, so that's why I did this. Uh, let's see. Okay, and boom. Yeah. Nice. So let's where's the flowchart? Oh, I need a low chart. It's flow chart. That's uh, that's pretty funny. Low chart, flow chart. Ten, ten, ten. <laughs> uh, the y is greatest. So blah blah. Okay, output variables. So I'm just gonna preset my variables. So, so x is equal to three, y is equal to five, and z is still equal to two. Dum dum. Okay. Now, uh, let's do here. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, let's run this again. What is it? X is equal to 3. Y is equal to 5. Is two. Okay. Y, the second number. Why? The second number which you have chosen is the greatest. Why is it? Why? I think you got the joke. No. Uh, X is equal to 3. Y is equal to 5. And this is now let's do where z is the greatest now z is the greatest number now this will be of output and variables we just did 11 pages wow that's not as much like in a guide or somewhere so it looks like we have 11 page doc now well, let's run this again. Now, this is what Z is greatest. Yeah, so 3, 2, 5. 325. Boom, boom. So now, let's see. Uh, X is equal to 3, Y is equal to 2. Two and Z is equal to five. This is three twenty-five. Okay, like the features. You know, look at this Z is the third, the third number which you in which you done input off. I think I have to add off. Oh uh, my! I think you can just add the sorry my grammar. So I don't know. I don't know if enough input it is a word. Let's let's say I'm sure it's inputted a word. Input this is input. Wow. Okay, let's check that up. Now let's uh, now okay. Let's get back and uh, let me just add this to my profile. Now okay, let's add. You know, saving to size um create three. Now I have to find if uh, the two numbers are the greatest, right? Yeah. So now let's see. Let's now just highlight two numbers. Okay, so mainly the exam or anywhere you see a question paper, please highlight because you have to be high enough to get this. Now let's see. Okay, so let's declare uh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. x. Declare y. Then 
if x is greater than y then uh, what i will do output is x is greater than y which is first number is greater than second number nice now um the first then so wait one second i will just copy this copy paste yay yay copy okay i'll put as this and this oh wait one second now let's do this for y and x y is greater than x and that's how we proceed on with the video which is now oops, second number is greater than first number now let's do this flowchart okay so one second i'm just uh, i know that this is correct but um, first let's just uh, take the snap we okay now let's see the output as x as greatest number okay so i'm i'm not going to put the preset variables but that was just my example okay so let's see let's do run x what oh wait oh wait oh okay wait one second i think i did it wrong one second oh, one second one second one second uh, blah, blah, blah. okay i just i forgot to do the input input as x yeah and you was correct like uh, just became wrong oh sorry uh, x is greater than y now let's check i think now it's going to be correct no need of checking straight away now let's see if i make an error i'm gonna i'm gonna explode okay so now let's check because if it if an error is made i'm gonna explode yeah five and six let's go i did not explode yay now let's just uh, x is greatest number let's see okay nice so now uh, so x is equal to five i'm uh, sorry x is equal to six and uh, and y is equal to five then output as y as greatest number so now let's see let's go and now it's five and six yeah no, i just did that pretty randomly now let's see yay Wee. variables x is equal to five oh, sorry x is equal to five and y is equal to six now let's see sixth F make a flow chart which finds out the area of a square so now let's see the formula so formula is l is equal to s square nice now let's make the flow chart it's gonna be a pretty easy thing because this is firstly the last question and secondly it's like just a flow chart it's just it's just a normal square calculating machine okay which is like too easy now um area of square so this will be created so one second now let me do control n for new oops <clears throat> let's declare some variables i should do it aside let's do this as real because sometimes people just do it in decimal and then well um programmers just they just get hit input side and output as side into side which is where well, the area side into side um, now let's do 
Wait, one thing, uh, let's just do output. This is in cm and square, square centimeter. I think this will be correct, let's see. Yeah, so five, so it's 25 square centimeter. So let's just have this as our output. Let's see, yeah, let's see. Now, go. One second, this was so short. Now let's just show this. Okay. Let's see. Now let's see. Yeah, nice. So the whole thing. Did I add this to flowchart? Yes. So it looks like the whole sheet is over. And I don't know how much time. I think it's been at least 20 to 30 minutes. Nice. So uh, mainly you'll get about half an hour for this paper. So we have just completed it. Nice. Oof. That's fun. Like this worksheet, I hope so. So yes, that's our 40 subscribers special. Then now the place is kind of over. And we just wrote a mini guide. Flagarathrum question paper with the answers. A whole guide. Amazing. Just so amazing to see this. So yes, that's all for this tutorial video and subscriber special is goodbye and have a great day. Bye-bye.